Hello everyone, welcome to the third installment of the Critical Reflection Syntheses. This week we have Samantha and Brian providing their summaries of the discussion thread topic on analyzing a metaphor. So let's see what they had to say. Hello everyone, this is Samantha Howell and this is a synthesis of Critical Reflection number four. Taking a look at the metaphor on the right, over 50% of our class believe that the boxes represented educational technology, 20% believe the game itself represented edtech, 6.7% believe the fence represented edtech, another 6.7% believe that the ground represented edtech, and finally the remaining 13.3% had other interpretations. Now some other interpretations were that edtech is everywhere in the metaphor, some were specific and believe the boxes represented educational equality in technology and the fence represented presented inequity in educational technology. Now breaking down the metaphor even further, most of our class believe that the fence symbolizes some sort of barrier or obstacle that prohibits or challenges students from reaching their goal. Most of our class believe that the ground symbolize some sort of starting point or a baseline for learners. And the majority of our class believe that the boxes represented ed tech. And finally, the majority of the class believe that the game represented some sort of goal or educational outcome and the figures symbolize the learners. There were several reoccurring themes in regards to the role of educational technology in terms of equity and equality, and here are some of them. Educational technology is a useful tool that has the potential to help diverse learners overcome their barriers. Warshower's concept of access, use, and outcomes was highlighted, that now it is no longer an issue of access, but rather the uses of educational technology that determine outcomes. Many of us communicated that we teachers and leaders need to be aware of students' situations in order to provide meaningful support in using educational technology. Now, another reoccurring idea was that the transition from equality to equity to liberation that we should idealize. Educational technology should be accessible, standardized, and proper uses need to be taught. Ideally, we need to provide equitable funding so we can level the playing field. The concept of digital divide came up often in this critical reflection and how now we need to focus on how we can help students use educational technology ethically and purposefully. The final theme is that educational technology can be a trap, a double-edged sword, and a potential barrier if we do not provide students with support. And that wraps up my synthesis for critical reflection number four. Now here are some things to think about. Thank you, Candice, Saul, Brian, Judy, and Kristen for the mind-blowing observations and interpretations. See you all next week. Welcome to take 22 of my attempt to synthesize the videos from week five of our class. We were tasked with talking about where educational technology could be found in these two cartoons. Most people identified the boxes as educational technology. They are created out of smaller technologies and are designed for a purpose. As with educational technology, using the boxes allows students to access education more effectively. Some people pointed to the fence as educational technology, especially when talking about its negative impact. The wrong kind of technology, or even the right kind of technology used the wrong way, can create barriers to real learning. Finally, a few people felt that the ground could be understood as educational technology insofar as it is something that students and teachers are given and have to adjust to. This came up in particular in the context of access to Wi-Fi. Identifying educational technology was tied to finding inequality and the possibilities of equity in the images. Inequality was typically talked about in terms of socioeconomic factors. Some people also pointed to the inequalities tied to race. Education funding was also talked about as a source of inequality. This included access to broadband and equipment, but was also talked about in terms of curriculum and teacher training, where funding allowed educational technology to be used more appropriately or allowed for teachers to practice more intensive curriculum, such as favored by Silicon Valley executives, that did not depend on the passive rote education typical to computer education and focused on interactions with tangible objects and other humans. In general, it seemed that identifying what the parts of the cartoon stood for depended on what people thought could be changed, which would be the fence and the boxes, and what people thought could not be changed, which would be the ground and the game. This in turn connected to how the larger goal was understood.
Some made specific reference to Maslow's hierarchy or Bloom's taxonomy, and most talked in some way about education in terms of the broader social goal of equity, specifically in education, but also more generally in society.